Nobody kill anybody for 72 hours. That is the tagline on a poster that if you live in certain parts of Baltimore City is hard to miss. Well, the Baltimore ceasefire has started. ABC 2 News' Brian Kubler caught up with the organizer and shows us just what she hopes her message accomplishes. Erica Bridgeford has been putting up these posters all around Baltimore City. On this day, she stapled it on the now vacant apartment in Rosemont where she grew up. A heavy moment that hit hard for her and her mother. Returning here with this now pervasive message fueled by equal parts anger, sorrow, and hope. Only 12 to 15 people came to the first meeting in May. And now? And now it's like hundreds and hundreds of people all over the city who are saying this is something that we're going to be doing. Let me give y'all some flyers before y'all go in. Bridgeford's optimism is as infectious as her message. Just tell everybody. She started this campaign months ago. Now her idea, these ceasefire posters are everywhere, like bright new wallpaper sprucing up a tired urban space. Nobody kill anybody for 72 hours. Stop. Think together. We know about power over. We haven't really thought about power with one another. And so this gives people an opportunity to have power together and to think about their choices and how they react to conflict together. A message resonating from city streets to city hall. Thumbs up. We need to stop the violence. I'm all in support. I agree with all that has been said. You know, violence on our streets is out of control, and we need to make people feel safe in our city, and I'm, I'm with them. But this message is uniquely theirs. That was the point. It was by design, a grassroots effort Bridgeford has watched bubble up from these city streets, a success, she says, regardless of outcome. I don't know that nobody will get killed this weekend because there are many systemic reasons to why we have this level of violence in America, not just in Baltimore. And this one thing can't cure all of that. What it has done is help people understand that they actually have a choice and they have power and that there's actually something they can do about this heartbreaking situation that we see in our city. A collective conscience to start writing a record level of wrong. In West Baltimore, Brian Kubler, ABC2 News.